Hi, in this episode I'm going to be telling you how you fasten a bolt snap to an SPG or a first aid regulator. In getting this right, not only will you be the envy of everyone at the dive centre because you look so cool, but you'll actually make for a safer diver because the techniques I'm going to show you make it easy to remove should you need to. Hi, I'm Andy the Northern Diver. Welcome to another video in this series of scuba diving tutorials where I'm going to be talking to you about how you fasten a bolt snap to a regulator or high pressure hose. If this is your first time here and you're keen to improve your own setup or some techniques, click the subscribe button below, that way you can see all of our previous videos or hit the bell icon that's just at the side of it, that'll give you a notification every time we post a new video. But if you haven't got a YouTube account, what you're gonna do? Well, you can just click this link up here to another video and that'll show you how you go about setting up and then you can like, you can share, you can subscribe, you can write a comment and you could even have your own YouTube channel if you wanted. But make sure you stick around because at the end I'll be giving you one of my top tips. So when I first learned to dive, the kind of console or pressure gauge that I had was something like this. In fact it was twice as big. It was about that big and it had a compass on it and it, it was dead heavy. There was things on here I didn't use because of the kind of computer I had. So now I just have something like this, just a tiny little gauge, just tells me what, what pressure's in it. I need some way of clipping that up. So what I don't think are any good are these. It doesn't really keep hold of anything in there, certainly if there's anything of any weight. This doesn't work very well. If you use one of these, clip it on there, just falls out all the time. So what I'm going to try and show you is the best way that I find of putting proper clip on onto a hose, whether it be for your primary regulator or for your SPG. So for that, what I need is an old O-ring and a zip tie. I'm going to start off with threading the o-ring onto the zip tie and bending over the top of the quite fiddly put the zip tie over the top I'll give you a close up now so you can see does that make sense so as you pull the zip tie tight it bends the o-ring around Offer up your hose and do up the zip tie. Now if you're lucky enough to have a zip tie gun, you can pull the zip tie nice and tight and that'll sit there like that. Now if you look close, if I'm hung up on this and I need to get it off, what I can do is just twist and the o-ring will break. That's not as likely to break as you might think if you need to break it you can so my top tip then is when you get your kit serviced ask the service maintainer to save that pack of o-rings that he's taken out and you've got a set of spur o-rings then to set all your kit up like that i have tried tying them before with string but i'll be honest it's quite faffy it's actually hard to get them quite tight whereas having an o-ring on like that is perfect because you can just pull it off if you need to you know there might be that one time that you're hung up and if you can't get to a knife you might lose your life so you could just pop that o-ring and out you pop so if you've got any questions or comments or you've got any other ideas on how i'll go about tying kit up or you've got something totally different or you've never thought of that before leave a comment in the box below i can see that and I'll, I'll comment back and i'll give you a nice thumbs up thanks for that so make sure you watch the rest of the videos in this series thanks for watching see you on the next one see you on insta